Well, we're all driven by water in Florida. We're a peninsula state. We jut out into the Gulf Stream and the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, we do receive about 50 some odd inches of rain a year, but it's not enough to support the 20 million people who live here and the 100 million people who like to visit here every year. The causes are we've been growing very fast. In, in, in my lifetime, I've watched the population of Florida and the land in Volusia County double and yet double again. Uh, we've gone from a very rural state to uh, the third largest state in my lifetime. Uh, with that have been tremendous uh, demands uh, on our natural resources, water being the biggest part of that. We need water to support our agriculture, our, our business opportunities, our quality of life, but uh, it's a beautiful place and part of the beauty of Florida is its water resources. So we, gotta find, we have to find that balance. Dr. Jason Evans uh, is new to us. He, uh, he's been very much involved in public policy. He's frankly a superstar in terms of his research on uh, climate change and sea level rise and the things that we're gonna have to do to adapt to that. And uh, Dr. Kirsten Work in our biology department is the, uh, one of the only people who are doing uh, important scientific research uh, in and around Blue Spring. And Blue Spring is the largest spring that contributes to the St. Johns River. Stetson has a tremendous convening authority, the ability to bring people together. And so maybe the most important thing we did was bring together representatives of all the cities in this county together with the Water Management District and the state agencies to begin a dialogue on what we're gonna do about water issues. That was the first of its kind. There's gonna be a follow-up here in the next uh, couple of months. We're gonna to try to focus on some of the issues that we wanna to tackle together. And that's exactly the kind of thing for which the Institute was envisioned. I'd say the other thing that we've been very much involved in is the Indian River Lagoon. Uh, it's been um, uh, just a terrific uh, environmental problem. I mean, we, we saw environmental collapse in the lagoon last year. We've been experiencing a, an algae bloom for the last 14 months. We need good science, we need good options, we need good answers and um, um, I'm right in the middle of trying to figure that out. And if we do, that's gonna be very important for East Central Florida. The other issue that we're all watching uh, is the fight between Georgia and Florida and Alabama over the future of water uh, in the Chattahoochee River and Apalachicola River as that in fact affects our environment and also the uh, some of the, the, the very existence of, uh, of the Atlanta area and farms in Alabama and South Georgia. So this is a big national issue that just happens to be in our backyard. This month we hope to break ground on the Stetson Aquatic Center, which is on 10 acres, uh, on Lake Beersford, which is a lake that's part of the St. John's River system. It will host the uh, rowing team. It'll be a, a place for regattas, but it'll also be uh, where the, the Institute will be headquartered and housed. We'll have a lab there, conference room. We're gonna use a multi-purpose room to engage the public in our discussions about these environmental issues. The building will be in a beautiful park-like setting with boardwalks through native vegetation, uh, kind of a native natural uh, uh, botanical garden landscape. So it's gonna be a place that people are gonna to wanna to go and see, and we're looking forward to hosting uh, stakeholders from all over Florida to come talk about water issues at the new Stetson Aquatic Center.